Hi, I'm Nicole Gordon, Education Consultant with CCS Presentation Systems. Today we're going to talk about using the Checker Tool. The Checker Tool can be used to determine whether an answer is incorrect or correct in Smart Notebook software. The Checker Tool can be found in the Tools section of the Lesson Activity Toolkit in the Gallery. You can either browse for the Checker Tool this way or type in Checker Tool in the search bar of the Gallery and locate it this way. To demonstrate how the Checker Tool is used, I've created a multiple choice question on a notebook page. Note that each possible answer, Paris, Bordeaux, and Nice, are separate objects. What I'm going to do next is select the Checker Tool and drag it onto my notebook page. Next, I'm going to click on the arrows on the left top corner of the checker tool and type in the correct answer to the question. Note that case sensitive is selected. You can deselect it by simply clicking on the check. At this point, I've programmed my checker tool to know the correct answer to the question above. Now, I'm going to infinitely clone each possible answer. I do that by making a large box around all three answers. I'm now going to select Infinite Cloner through any drop-down menu, meaning that I can choose either Nice, Bordeaux, or Paris. The Infinite Cloner will apply to all. Now that they've all been infinitely cloned, when I drag a possible answer into the checker tool, I'm going to be told whether or not I'm correct or incorrect, and the multiple choice selection is still preserved here, Bordeaux. Notice that it's told me that I'm incorrect. Should I put the correct answer, Paris, into the checker tool? I'm told that I'm correct. Just as a reminder, in order to infinitely clone all three multiple choice selections at once, what we do is click and drag to create a box around all three selections. You can see that B Paris, Bordeaux, and Nice each have a drop-down menu. What we can do now is select any of these drop-down menus and select Infinite Cloner. What this does is produce an infinity sign in place of the drop-down menu on all three of these selections, meaning that when I drag a possible answer up into my checker tool, the selection at the bottom still remains because it's been infinitely cloned. Another great use for the checker tool is for labeling. In this case, the student is being asked to label the parts of a flower. Of course, we can always have the student simply come up and drag the possible answers up to where they belong on the flower, but we're going to use the checker tool in this instance so that the student can be given feedback as to whether they are incorrect or correct. Again, because the checker tool is an interactive object that we can find in the gallery, it's going to give us some sort of interactive component, in this case, feedback. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the checker tool in our gallery. I've searched for checker tool. I'm going to open up the interactive and multimedia tab and drag the checker tool into three places. First on the petal, second on the stem, and third on a leaf. Next, I'm going to go up to the arrow on the top left of the first checker tool, which is on the pedal, and type in the word pedal. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to go over to the stem, go to the left-hand corner, uh, left-hand top corner of my checker tool, and type in stem. Note that because case sensitive is selected, and of course I can deselect that, I am capitalizing the S in stem because my multiple choice selection is capitalized. I'm going to press OK. And finally, top left corner of the checker tool for the leaf, I'm going to type in leaf, press OK. Now what I'm going to do is draw that large box 
around leaf, stem, and petal. So click and drag over all three selections and click any drop down menu and select Infinite Cloner. Again, what this is going to do is change each selection from a drop down menu in each object to an infinity sign so that the original will be preserved as it's after it's dragged up to where it belongs, in this case, the checker tool. So I'm going to drag the word pedal to our first checker tool, and you're going to see that I'm told that I am correct. Had I put the word stem in this checker tool, it would have given me the feedback that I were incorrect. I'm going to go ahead and properly label each of these options. And in this case, all three are correct. This concludes our tutorial on how to use the checker tool. Thanks!